Emily and Jill, this is Donnie again. This is going to be a third uh, part of our tutorial. We're going to go quickly on how to create a new message here. Um, we've looked at campaigns, we've looked at lists, now we're going to go to create. If you create, click the create button here, there's one thing I want to tell you right off the bat is in your images, it's very critical on the image library that you understand this. In your messages, like a candidate spotlight, you're going to have a header that has an, an image at the top of it, it includes the logo, uh, for instance. Or maybe in a newsletter, you have pictures of blue chairs or pictures of people sitting in a computer looking like they're taking a test or whatever you're going to put in there. You always need to make sure you put those images in that library first. You do that by going into the image library. You'll see that I've loaded the blue chairs. And then here is the this is the new header that we'll use, at least for the candidate spotlight, maybe for the other messages as well. And they all have to follow this less than 70K. If you ever have any problems with that, just let us know. Okay, so it's very critical you understand that part of it. Okay, moving on. What you want to do, um, and I've already set this up in a, through a test message one time. When you're creating this candidate spotlight, you basically going to use this option right here, reuse a sent message. Even for this first time, because I've already got the format laid out, but after we send out the first round of message, the first message that goes out, every week you'll want to reuse the same uh, same format, so you're reusing a sent message and just changing the content. So let me give you an example of that. Click on the reuse a sent message. Now from here, you'll see all these old ones here, but this top one is the candidate spotlight. Right here is this the option. I, I don't want to hit this one. I don't want to hit that one. I want to hit this one. One in the middle. And what it does is it brings up the, all the formats and stuff that you can do and change. And you see here all this message here. When I sent myself a test message, it looks just like this. Okay. So all of that information shows up right here. So um, what I would say is the first time you go to create your new message is use do exactly what I just did. But you're going to need to change the content, which is what you would have to do every week anyway. Now, first things first, uh, you want to look on an email subject. You might want to consider making sure you have good email subjects. Uh, don't just say candidate spotlight. That's kind of boring. Maybe you want to say candidate spotlight. Um, good you know, future CFO or something like that, or something that, something that gets their attention. Um, you could put, you know, October 9th and just keep it kind of simple. But, you know, think about what you want to do. Eye Contact has a lot of great resources. If you just Google them or go into their, they'll have maybe some webinars or things like that on how to create good email subject lines. We've talked about campaigns before in one of the other tutorials, but this is where that plays in. You want the emails to come from certain people, like this one is Deborah. If we change it to Doug and Mimi, it comes from Doug. Later on, that can be changed to Mimi. If you want it to come from Liz, it goes from Liz. So this, you have to select your campaign. So let's go through an example. The first thing you do is you want to send out the message under, let's say we will, we'll start with Liz. After you're done sending the message, You'll send it, go through its normal steps, and I'll walk you through that here in just a minute. You'll then go back in after the message has been sent, and only after the message has been sent. If the message is pending, you won't be able to do it until the message has been sent. Then you'll go in and do, you know, reuse a sent message like we did earlier and get to this point, and then say, okay, now that I, that one last one was from Liz, this time I want it to come from Deborah. You may or may not need to change your candidate spotlight, but if you for instance, if your subject line said candidate spotlight from Liz, then obviously you'd want to change it for, to Deborah. But if it was just kind of generic, then you wouldn't need to change anything on that. But you definitely want to change your sending options. Okay, so just say from Deborah. And then your content needs to be changed here. Now this goes, uh, whether you're doing it the first time or you're doing it, uh, regardless, make sure you keep your, your uh, content. Obviously, you'll need to go and change the name of the person here, their email address, any LinkedIn, other links that you have them go to. 
Now this little process, there's some arrows here I would recommend you click it, expands it a little bit. This is just like uh, any other kind of formatting process. Uh, it allows you to center things and bold things and so forth. When you're working with templates like this, sometimes it can get a little, you now pull your hair out kind of deal. But one of the key things is this little button here, undo. So if, for instance, if you're going through here and you say, you know, I really don't like that. I think I'll delete that. And, or, you know, something, something you deleted that you shouldn't have. You know, I can't give. All right, let's say you did that. Don't panic. Just go over here and click that button and it puts it all back in. And then if you wanted to put spaces or what have you. Okay. And what I'll probably do this is in two different tutorials. One is I'll show you how to edit the content and then I'll talk about sending it in the second tutorial. Um, we set this up in this particular template so that you have this is for the candidate spotlight. We'll probably have a different template for the newsletter and we may or may not use a template for any general messages that come out. We may just have it as a text only space. But for the candidate spotlight this is the template and this template allows us to put all the information about the candidate or candidates here with the BDM's information here but then it gives you highlights so uh, as you'll see from the email there's a lot of stuff on here and to be able to process all that it's going to take some time so maybe you just pull out the highlights this is a CPA it's an MBA people soft skills and they immediately can go to the highlights and say yeah this is somebody I'm interested in so that's why that's set up also I didn't know if I said this see this image right here always make sure and I think it usually is click that little link there always make sure that's linked to to the website if you don't you're losing a big opportunity when somebody is sitting there looking at the email wondering how can I get to financialeditions.com without having to type that in themselves because people are inherently lazy um, you want to be able to give make it real easy by just allowing them to click on it takes them right to it so always make sure that you're and I would say any image that you ever have, even if you ever have a blue chair, make sure it links to some part of the website. If it's a, to, the, to the main website, that's fine. If it's to a certain page on the website, that's fine too. But just make sure you do that. So you want to edit that. Again, change the BDM's uh, name, phone numbers, etc. On each time that you reuse a sent message, you just reuse them. Change them. Change all the content that you want. You could even preview it. You can want to spell check it. After you type everything in here, you always want to click the copy text. All that is is making sure that everything that's in here in the HTML format gets put in here in the, the text for those people who cannot view HTML emails. There are still some people whose computers don't allow that. You can do a spam check, which is a nice feature. I'll pull this down so you can see it. Anything below a 5.0 is good. Yours is 0.0, .0 so that's good. You can even send yourself a test message ahead of time to see what it looks like. Once you're ready to go, you'll hit Choose Destination, and at that point, we'll start a new tutorial.